this is another attempt um, running my HP Victra VL600 computer with the NVIDIA Riva TNT2 graphics card through composite to this CRT color monitor. Currently it is still running in black and white mode. It's struggling with refreshing. It was a black and white Windows ME logo because it's now running Windows Millennium Edition because I couldn't get the NVIDIA driver to work under XP. And now we in fact are running in color mode. I've finally done it. Thanks to the NVIDIA control panel which allowed me to finally set it up right. Although I must say that uh, I'm having a little bit of issue since I can't set refresh rate on the monitor. I'll try if I can see if I can do that through the NVIDIA control panel. As you can see it's quite uh, flickery when it comes to refreshing. There we go, refresh rates. This is optimal according to the monitor. Doesn't look too bad actually. Okay, it does, okay. Every time it has to redraw the screen, it's uh, flickering a little bit. But at least we are running in color mode. Which I honestly did not expect to get working. Also put it in 256 color. And that looks absolutely horrible, so let's put it back on true color mode. 32 bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fix the screen size so we have a full filled screen. So I'll be right back. Okay, it seems that this is as good as it's going to get. It's actually not all that horrible as I expected. Still, it's not quite RGB, it is quite a fuzzy image. You can see right there that. Whoa, sorry. You can see right there it's not completely sharp. Although it is acceptable, in my opinion. At least it's acceptable for this type of machine. I did not expect to get a color signal out of this. Windows XP just refused to install the NVIDIA driver, so I couldn't really use that at all. And Windows ME did accept the driver and it's working fine. And I didn't try 2000 because I couldn't find a disk and I just had this uh, DVD laying around with uh, all 9x Windows versions. So. Ooh, it has Movie Maker, excellent. Um, okay, media player. Full mode, sounds interesting. No full screen mode supported in the default version, it seems. Yep, I'm pretty satisfied. I finally got color. Damn. Even though it will give you an epileptic attack or seizure or whatever you want to call it. Let's see how it does that. There we go. Ooh, colors. So yeah, this experiment actually turned out great. I now have color on my Philips CM8833 monitor in 800 by 600 mode. Yay! Actually gonna see if the 640 by 480 mode actually gives a better picture. No, it's still as fuzzy. 
that doesn't help a single bit. There you go. And we're back at 800 by 600. Good. Alright, we've got color through composite to a composite color monitor. Ah, I wish I had some kind of cable that uh, would split my VGA uh, connector to a SCART. I'm gonna see if I can get such a cable. I'm not gonna make one. There might be some uh, out there, in, uh, I don't know, maybe in Hong Kong or something. I'll take a look at that. And then I'll post a video if I can do that. Because this is actually quite useful, because now I can run an old computer with an old monitor. But uh, the video through composite is, is, like, is kind of fuzzy. On camera it actually looks better than it is. I can tell you that. And uh, well, if I'm actually going to play old games on this, because I've, I've been told that this monitor is excellent for old games, I really want to check that out. And I can't play them on this because it's so darn fuzzy, it will eventually give me a headache. And a bad one, too. So, you know, I thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe and like and whatever you want to do and comment and whatnot. Just do whatever you damn well please, but just don't dislike the video. <laughs> ah, well, thank you for watching.